What's up, everybody? Back in the garage. Um, we're actually not going to be working on the car. We will in the next video where I take apart the headlights and do like a full build on the headlights and retrofit them and black them out. But anyways, um, for today's video, it's going to be a little different. Uh, I've been posting a lot of pictures and old videos on my phone on Instagram of when the car was stanced out on Air Ride on the BBSs and stuff like that. And it's crazy how much people love that versus drifting. Um, I personally love drifting way more and it's way more enjoyable. I'm still gonna be doing that, but because it's gained so much traction, I think one of the reels I posted had like 30,000 views and like over 500 shares. So I figure while I'm just hanging around the house with the kids, I'm just gonna put together all these old clips of the car when it was stanced out and go over all the specs. So in today's video, it's basically just gonna be a whole montage of old clips and me like a voiceover, just talking about the air suspension and all that stuff and, and the wheel specs and everything and where I got everything. So hopefully it's not too boring. Um, mainly for 2023, my goal was to get monetized and basically you need like a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So I'm almost there on the subscribers. So if you're a subscriber, I appreciate you. And we just got to get the views up. So I'm just going to push out weekly content, whether it's building my car, hopefully hit some more drift events this year, and just doing what I do anyways, and just kind of just filming and taking you guys along with, on the process. So I appreciate you guys watching and make sure you like and subscribe. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. So basically I took all the clips on my phone and put in Adobe and I'm just doing a voiceover right now. So originally the car was bagged on airlift, three piece suspension uh, and management. It rode great, uh, no complaints there. I had a custom trunk set up with hard lines and like uh, stars in the, uh, the trunk. That was pretty cool. Um, right here we're looking at an m4 style bumper that i got on ebay for about 450 bucks it came with the lip and the fog lights this was before i built the headlights and i switched over to lci headlights it really it looked really good it's like an oem plus um and then the rear i have just an m sport rear with a aggressive m sport diffuser i got that for about 400 bucks as well and then talking about the spoiler we got the high kick spoiler 180 bucks ebay and then the lci conversion basically my car is an 07 and i was able to get the 09 and up trunk and headlights and all that stuff from a local junkyard for fairly cheap car is obviously tinted five percent 20 percent on the windshield man it looks good rolling but i did used to ride around really high because of the colorado roads and i just didn't want to mess it up and if you look at the side skirt, um, that splitter is actually like some door trim that I got from Home Depot for 20 bucks and trimmed it and spray painted it black. It looked really good for what it was. The diffuser is probably one of my favorite mods. Um, pretty expensive for 400 bucks, like I said. And man, I miss this look. Black, BBS wheels. It's actually crazy that this car is 16 years old. All right, let's talk about this GTS hood real quick. So I got it, this video is probably 2020. I got it on eBay for like 480 bucks. Um, at the time it was coming from Taiwan and then obviously after COVID, um, it was really hard to get. And when resellers do sell it, it's about 1500 bucks. And then I customized the headlights, which I'll be doing here soon again, because one of them got smacked by a deer. I really don't like that job, but I will film it and it'll be a DIY video. Believe it or not, my car was only blue on the BBS wheels for about 36 hours, and then after that, I sold the wheels to somebody local. The blue on the BBS wheels is probably one of my favorite setups. It just worked. Oh yeah, and then when I wrapped it blue, or when my friend wrapped it blue, um, I switched to like the M3 side skirts. Very little difference, but this is basically my full build. Stance-wise, I did some other cool stuff like stars in the headliner and stars in the trunk and a trunk setup with hard lines and stuff like that. But this pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just message or comment down below. I almost forgot the most important part of the whole dang video when it comes to the stance world. So the wheels are BBS RS, um, three-piece converted, triple step lips. They're 18 by 11 and a half in the rear, plus zero offset, and 18 by 10 plus 11 offset in the front. 
It was perfect for E90 stock body fitment. Um, I ran a 225-35-18 in the front and a 265-35-18 in the rear. You can for sure fit 11 and a half. The only thing is you're gonna have 11 and a half wide wheels in the rear. The only thing you're gonna have to have is aftermarket um, camber arms in the rear. And I would highly suggest getting aftermarket toe arms as well to correct the toe when you go to camber the rear. Other than that, here's all the keys to the answers. There's no gatekeeping stance thing going on over here. I appreciate everyone watching and make sure you like and subscribe for more. Thanks a lot, guys.